Hey guys, Arthronix here, and take a look at this drywall. Looks a bit different than when these were just wide open or had insulation in them, don't you think? Now, this is actually the, uh, the second time that the drywall has been done in a lot of the house, actually. Uh, long story short, the first guy who I hired to do the drywall didn't do a good job, so I ripped out all the drywall and started again. And this time, it's looking a lot better, because he had things like on these uh, can lights, the hole was cut in the wrong spot, so he would just kind of stuff another piece up there and oh man he had joints all over the place the way that he had this wall before uh, just as something not to do was to have a sheet that went all the way here and then a little piece that went the rest of the way and I think this is only an 8 foot wall so there's really no excuse for just you know get get another sheet a full sheet and run it all the way across that way you don't have an extra seam which could crack and all that good stuff. Another thing that is uh, correct now that was not before is the location of the drywall joints. Um, there was a tendency with the other um, way it was done to just run a piece of board right up here. But of course when you do that, if the house deflects back and forth at all, this is, you know, where your joints all are in your framing so that's going to sway and you're going to end up with cracks so you put it under the middle of a wide opening like that same thing with doorways um, yeah so everything's looking a lot better now oh and the front door's on too what do you think of that? I think it looks pretty good uh, the drywall runs all the way down to the hall beams. We just wrapped the beams. We might do like a faux covering on them um, at some point, but not right now. Here's the office with the smaller beams. Still pretty cool looking. I kind of like the look of the, the wrapped beams. I think it looks pretty professional. <laughs> I don't know why. And yeah. Also got a fridge and a stove, which you saw in the other room. Uh, let me go up here to the loft. You can see that. We added a window up here in the loft. Let's in a lot of good light, which is awesome. And uh, this is the loft space here with our soffit lights. Yeah. So, what I'm doing now is uh, just finalizing the preparation for paint. Uh, there's some sanding that has to be done in this area down here and I might need to put another coat on. And also, in here, we're going to add two shower boxes, shower niches. So I got to take out this framing, or at least part of it, and uh, put in a second one. I think I actually might leave this where it is here and just put another one. Um, I was measuring in another shower and if you have like a like a thing around here, it tends to start for me anyway around knee height. So I think I can fit another one right in here. And uh, just frame it the same way that this is. Um, this is actually too wide. I bought a uh, 14 by 16 or 16 wide by 14 high shower box. So I framed out because it said that the box was 16 by 14. I framed out a 16 by 14 opening and the box is not 16 by 14. It is smaller than that because for whatever reason the 12 inch ones are 12 inches but the 16 inch ones are sized a little bit smaller so you can fit them in between studs which is fine but if you're just trying to frame it, I mean, I don't know. They didn't say like rough opening dimension versus actual dimension. 
they just gave the actual dimension and it's not actually that wide. So whatever. Um, I'm going to go get those out of the car and finish installing both of those, work on some drywall stuff and keep going. All right. As always, thanks for watching. See ya.